G'day again, uh, Dr. Phil here. If you are worried about me putting so many opals and no bird videos up, don't worry. I do have a bird video that I'm currently putting together. I just had to put some identifying information out of it. So uh, it's a bit of a nuisance and I was really tired last night. I've already put up a video that looks pretty rubbish. Not rubbish, it's just it wasn't completed particularly well. So I'm just going to do a single take video. They're a lot easier to do um, just to keep people watching things. Do not worry, birds will be coming. I am doing opals at the moment, sorry. So I've been recently getting delivery of some yellow nuts from, uh, from some suppliers and I've been having quite a lot of fun with it. I'll show you this one. This is the rough which the other one was taken from. Nearly done, but um, I can get a few of the scratches and scrapes off it. Um, beautiful little um, tribal pattern there. You can see there's just a hint of green. Just one little lonesome hint of green. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe if I get that grey potch there and grind it away, I'm not even bothering anymore. I will just be... I'll be grinding it until you see most of the imperfections gone. Um, I might try grinding with um, aluminium oxide, but probably I'll just use 5k grit until it's all nice and shiny. But it's looking pretty good. I think it'll look really really nice once it's shone up and the reason I know that is because of this one this is the one that I originally asked for help with and would you look at that bad boy look at how he came up it's just absolutely stunning I absolutely love this opal and it's only got the tiniest hint of color there's a little bit of purple on one side and there's a few just blue green sections in it but man that thing just pops can't believe it just such an amazing stone <laughs> it's really quite ordinary so i i'm just i love it you can hear me um those are the yellow nuts that i was doing there are some that are on the dop i've actually just taken a few off um the final edge of my production this guy needs just a few more scrapes to shine it right up but he, he's looking okay this was basically a piece of scrap so i thought yeah cool if you're thinking my dopping technique is terrible, you will be right. But um, there is method in my madness. I don't need to worry too much about that. Um, this one, I quite like this one. It looks better in real life, especially if it's in focus. Did I mention in focus? Let's see if that works out better. Thank you. Still a few lumps and bumps to get out of it, but it's looking really nice now. This one here. Um, I like the supplier of this one. He just had some old rough from Lightning Ridge that he was just getting rid of. And he had some old rubs and um, whatnots that he was just offloading, basically. And this is one of those. Um, I like this. I Some people go, you've got to make sure it's a 100% opal stone. I think that, you know, a bit of potch gives them character. I accept it will reduce the value, but, you know, I like him. Here's another one from the same supplier. That one looks, um, no, <laughs> under the magnification, you can see that I haven't quite gotten it into a round shape. Um, tell me in the comments if I should bother smoothing it all out. I'm thinking at this late stage, meh, don't want to. Um, here's, I saved the best till last. Have a look at this guy. It's absolutely amazing. Look at it. Now the only issue here is one tiny piece of potch which is just sitting there. Um, if you see this guy in real life, you'll be going, this is just an amazing stone. But that piece of potch, I am desperate to get it out, but I might not get it out because it might just um, push the stone back too far. So I may have to accept one tiny little inclusion. But man, it's probably about 0.8 of a carat, I reckon, but it is just so mighty a stone. I love it. So there they all are. You can have, you can tell me in the comments what you think of all of the stones. I personally like this one a lot. I like this one and <laughs> the match um, and this one. Those are my favourites. The other ones, um, I'm tossing up how much effort I need to put into them. I think these guys will come good. The, this, this one will come good. This one will come good. And this one will come good. I'm pretty certain. 
this one I'm hoping will come good but it's got some nice color sitting in it and this one I think that once all the scratches are out it'll be okay it's probably got the most potential of all of them it's got more color than um, the other one but I mean that one how gorgeous is that anyway that's all I wanted to show you hopefully a bird will come out in a few hours or so and you'll be able to get your fix on cockatoos and whatnot Loki and Max are waiting to talk to you all right Dr. Phil out